so in our last video we saw that how you can create section list when you have sections in your list then you can use section list it is uh, uh, it is more uh, useful uh, when you have partitions in your list and each partition has a different header so we created something like this in our last video I've just decreased the font size for the header and the individual items but if I have another set of data let's say data 2 and in that I have completely different types of information which are not related to this one then I need to create a different section list and I have to create this I have to write this line of code again and again so in this video we will create a custom component for this section list and so whenever we need to use the section list we just use that custom component and pass the data we don't need to write this much of codes again and again it's about reusability so let me just delete this this section list over here let me just say we did not want section list and text over here let me just save it okay so let me just create a new file let's say custom section list dot js okay so first of all we need to import react from react when you need to import view text and section list from react native then we need to import styles as well okay so export default function the function name will be same as the file custom section list And we will be returning a view component this much remain the this much remains the same as the app.js file now here we write props whichever data we, we passed from app.js we receive here in the props so first of all let me create that the item function that we have earlier title of individual item view and text let me display item this is for the individual item pizza burger french fries etc so we also created a style we already created a style from our past project so we just use it over here okay so now we use section list First of all, this actions, our main data, it will be props 
app.data whichever data we passed from the app.js then key extractor as I did earlier item then index item plus index now the render item each item title item these for the individual items we pass the item and the title over each iteration we get pizza burger french fries onion ring etc Now the render section header. Section each individual section has a title. We display this title in text. We already created styles for this header. Styles dot header. This on hover here title is represent these main items, sites, drinks, and desserts. We dis when we are displaying the title of our text so that's it we have already created a custom component let me just save it app.js we need to import custom section list from custom section list now we can use that component over here we just need to pass the data let me save it let me just see if it works as you can see it works perfectly fine it works the same and if i need to create another let me just sort on this list we do not need this much okay so let me just create another let's say data two. title title will be let's say os android ios Let's say computer Windows Linux Mac. Okay, now we just need to copy paste this over here we just write data 2 let me just save it 
as you can see it works perfectly fine and each one has its unique scroll view as you can see it's it scrolls property is individual from this one so basically this is how you can create custom section list component so if i did not uh, if uh, i would not create this custom section list then i have to create uh, this data to that i have to create and i write this line of code again and again so we shift that code into a different file and create a custom component and we can use that custom component over here and we just need to pass the data so that's it for this video thanks for watching it